What's up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. We're going to dive in. I'm going to do a couple readings for the AM. Okay, I'm going to try to get these uploaded. Uh, if not, I'll upload them early in the morning uh, at work. Okay. But anyway, let's dive on in and see what messages we have. Um, this coming up weekend, I will be, the plan is to do the readings again, y'all. It'll be um, $10 per reading, okay? You can either do the general reading or if you have three questions, feel free to answer those three questions. It will not start until Saturday, okay? So do not send me any money until like Friday night if you want to lock in, you know, and get it going. But you got to make sure you um, make the payment via cash cap, uh, cash cap, cash app or PayPal. And you have to send me an email. That way I can send you your video link. Okay, your video link, you will click on it. It will be your personal link for you and you only unless you share it with somebody else. That's completely up to you. Okay, but nobody else can see that link except for me and you um, unless you share it with somebody else. Okay, but it will be $10 readings. It will not start until Saturday. So if you're going to make a payment, don't start the payment until either like Saturday, uh, Friday night or Saturday morning, because I will not start the readings until Saturday, okay? So anyway, let's dive in, if you're interested. Just a heads up on that, let's see. Let's dive in, let's see what's going on with Scorpios. <clears throat> what's going on with Scorpios? Energy for Scorpios. Oh, the thinking woman and happy family and appreciation here at the bottom of the deck, okay? So the thinking woman and happy family. Well, somebody, you can, now if you're this feminine energy, okay, you're thinking about a family dynamic, this happy family could be, you know, your kids. It could be other family members. This could also be a blending of family. So some of y'all are wanting to, like, blend family together and stuff like that. And then the appreciation card. This is six. So this is about choice. You could be choosing. You could be thinking about who you want to choose to blend families with. Some of y'all could have uh, be meeting somebody that has children, okay? You could be this person. Maybe you're thinking about it. You're pondering on it. Like, oh, what should I do type of energy, right? That could be what's going on. But the thinking woman. Now, others of you... If you're a masculine, you could be meeting this female energy, okay? And this feminine could possibly have kids, okay? This person could have kids or they may have fur babies. Not everybody got kids. Or they could even be thinking of starting a family dynamic with you. This could be even just moving in together, okay? Building, growing, creating, thinking about a future together, all right? So let's see. What's going on? This person will show a lot of appreciation to. If you're a masculine energy, this female is very appreciative, of you and she is not afraid to show appreciation okay she thinks about that okay like oh how can i show this person how thankful i am for them or how grateful and appreciative i am for what they do now if you are uh, this feminine energy this masculine if you're this feminine energy you could be um being appreciated for being in somebody's life okay whether this is your children or your person you know whichever they could be showing you appreciation 313 on the phone let's see what do you have for Scorpio? Uh-uh, no ma'am, you're gonna fall off the bed. One second. I'm trying to play. It's eight o'clock at night, girl. You better be laying down. What's going on? Scorpio energy. Caution, find out more information. Don't overwork yourself, okay? Air sign at the bottom of the deck, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There could be something to do with communication, okay? Y'all could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or something about communication, thoughts. You know, using your intellect, okay, in a situation here. That could be the reason why this thinking woman is in this energy. What's going on? What's going on with Scorpio? What's going on? Scorpio energy. Distance. You and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant. And then vacation. You will be traveling soon. So some of y'all could be getting ready to meet this person or travel with this person in some sort of way. Y'all may be cautious about this. Maybe you're getting ready to meet this person or meet the children or something like that. So y'all could be getting ready to meet the kids or something. Or they're, they're about to meet your kids, okay? Tell me more about the caution card. What does this have to do with? Tell me more about the caution card for Scorpio. Okay. Tell me more about the caution card. Well, for some, first storm, karma, drama, endings, loss, mental breakdown. Okay, there could be some sort of karma playing out. This energy keeps coming out. And we have reckless love and sex, twin flames, happily single, 
dating doing you dating stress-free setting goals career focus and running so ooh, funeral divine feminine secrets all right well somebody could be finding out about an ending somebody could be finding out the uh, divine feminine whether this is you or somebody else whichever um could be finding out that somebody's about to end something or an ending or a death to a situation or someone some sort of secret could be coming out you could be finding out that somebody tried try to take out a divine feminine okay or baby mama or wife some of y'all need to cleanse your energy because somebody like wishing death upon you and stuff like that like endings in your life or something Find out more information. Don't overwork yourself. There could be something about, maybe this is rumors going on, reckless sex and love, twin flame energy. You could be in a twin flame dynamic or you are single from this. This could be something else going on and you were completely single from this energy. Some of y'all were dealing with the twin flame and this person was reckless with sex, okay? And, uh, honey. You could be running away from this situation. This person, somebody going through karma. Somebody's karma is here, feeling like ish. Yeah, somebody could have ran from y'all's connection. Love message. This person could be very selfish, arrogant, egotistical, and it's like they could have ran from your connection, and now they feel like doo doo. Okay, they feel like crap. They feel like the the the, the bottom of a shoe that has stepped on. Okay, they feel like. The inside of the toilet that hasn't been cleaned in weeks. Okay, that's what they feel like. Somebody feels terrible. And it could have something to do with somebody was being reckless, having reckless sex, out there, uh, you know, doing whatever what they wanted to with people, not thinking about this connection or trying to even be in alignment with you. They could be now realizing that you want to be single from this. You don't want to even deal with this. This person could be messaging you. They may send you some sort of love message or something secluded married oh god reject for some of y'all somebody could be married you could be going through a separation this person could be going through a separation it says secluded separation reflecting soul searching somebody's doing some sort of soul searching they don't want this marriage they don't want this child somebody could have had a kid somebody could find out that somebody had a child outside of the connection somebody could be going to jail be, ca be careful something about bad credit debt unemployed and shady yeah somebody was being shady here Somebody could have been stealing money. Somebody could go to jail for stealing money or taking money from somebody too. Somebody could have ruined somebody's credit. Somebody could be going to jail. Something could have been illegal that somebody was doing and somebody could be going to jail. Maybe you're thinking about this or maybe you, I don't know. You're trying to you think about what's, what the heck is going on, but there could be more information coming out. You may not. Something is not yet fully revealed, and it has something to do with reckless sex, uh, a twin flame connection, and somebody separating themselves, wanting to be single. Like, I don't, I just don't want to be with this person anymore. What's the caution card? Shocking. Yeah, you about to hear some, shark, some shocking news, child. Turmoil, trouble, unexpected. It's going to come out of nowhere. I don't think you're expecting this to hear about this or to see this happen or. Or if this happened to you, you're like, people are like, what? That happened? Broken, shattered, heartbroken, and destroyed. Somebody could have, like, literally broke your heart. Yeah, loyalty. Trusting, reliability, and believing. Somebody could have did something shocking to you, and you realize this person isn't loyal. You can't trust this person. Maybe you're big on loyalty, okay? Uh, Maybe you've been loyal to a person that was doing this. You know what I'm saying? You're, now you're like, well, dang, that kind of broke my heart. That kind of destroyed what? Yeah, curse, hex, witchcraft, negative mind. You may have a negative mind. or You may be thinking negatively, negatively about this. Maybe somebody tried to hex you. Up to, I'm getting like somebody tried to hex somebody. Because that funeral and divine feminine energy came out. It's like somebody tried to hex a divine feminine or like put death to a divine feminine or a spouse or something. Growth. Like somebody tried to end somebody's growth in some sort of way. Running, ghosting, disappearing, invisible. Somebody could be like running away from this connection or trying to ghost somebody or disappear on somebody or something like that. Um, 
now we got the distance card. So you and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant. Maybe you distance yourself from this person. Maybe this is what they did, okay? And maybe you distance yourself from this person. Now they're feeling heartbroken and shattered. They're starting to realize that you're happily single. You're moving on, you know? Trying to get back out there and start dating because somebody just had reckless sex. They didn't want to commit. They didn't want to be in a relationship. And so you was like, okay, bet. I'm going to be happily single. I'm going to focus on me and do me, all right? So, one second. Okay, so yeah, distance. So yeah, you could be distancing yourself from this person because they could be very selfish, stubborn, arrogant, pride, and egotistical. They always want things their way. You know, if it, is it either their way or the highway. And so you just was like, forget it. I'm just going to create distance between us because I don't feel like dealing with this. What's the distance card? No, ma'am, you can't have that. What's the distance card for Scorpio? I'm going to need you to shrink back. Stop trying to quit, girl. Aria, I didn't give you one card. Here. No, ma'am, here. Take your little ace of swords. There you go. So psycho, crazy ex, obsessed, won't let go. Some of y'all could be dealing with a crazy, toxic, obsessive ex. Or your person is whoever, oh, child. Okay. This is just the energy coming out. Somebody could be dealing with a toxic ex. Okay. You could be trying to distance yourself from this person. This person's refusing. Okay. They just refuse. They're like, no, I'm going to have it my way. I'm selfish about you. I'm possessive about you. This is how it's going to work. Karmic ties. Closing this cycle and karmic ties. Some of y'all can be trying to close this cycle out with this person. <laughs> I just heard. Hold on, y'all. Let me make sure I got the cards. I heard, hell no. I won't go. Hell no. I won't go. Trap. Turning your back. Remember the cards that was turned over? So, yeah, you could be turning your back on this person. You're trying to close out the cycle. Look at this. Under pressure. Anxiety. Decisions. Time's running out. It was a card that was flipped over. Um, but you could be karmically tied to this person in some sort of way, but you're trying to close out this cycle with this person. You just, you're done with it. You don't want to deal with it anymore. But unfortunately, you could be karmically tied to them, whether it's like a sexual tie. Um, I don't know if y'all have family, friends, children, something like that. What's the distance for Scorpio? Memories. It's the memories. Somebody stuck on the memory of you. Round and round. Cycles, triggers, and lessons. Somebody wants to keep you going in these repetitive cycles keep learning the same lesson that you've already learned it's like no i'm not doing that somebody's not learning the lesson that they need to one person is but the other isn't you're closing the cycle but somebody wants you to keep it open they want you to keep repeating the same thing what's going on pop the question they either want you to marry them pop the question towards them yeah love spell this is somebody that wants to put you on a love spell they may go as far yeah sex addiction this could be somebody that's sexually addicted to you they may not necessarily love you they just may be sexually sexually addicted to you they just don't want you to have sex with nobody else this is somebody that may even go as far as like giving you a ring or offering you the next level but they don't really mean it this is somebody that wants to put you on a love spell so they'll come in and do what they got to to get you drawn in but then it just goes back to what it was you know so What's this distance card? Let me knock on that. Side hustle. This could this could be somebody that likes to date you because of how you hustle or how you make your money. Yeah, funeral. You're you're a uh, um, uh, financial supply to this person. That's what it is. With that side hustle, something about um, Either you do like some sort of money, you make some sort of money on the side, or this person makes money off of you, or like they get to live a lifestyle that they know once it's ended with you, they don't get to live the same lifestyle that you live. Like they may actually have to go out there and hustle for their own money because this could be somebody you take care of very well. Yeah, under pressure, anxiety, decision, time's running out, and divine feminine. Heck yeah, because you, you're you're very powerful, you're very fertile. You're this divine feminine energy, which means you can attract a lot of things. You're very um, magnetic, okay? When you plant seeds, baby, they grow. Pregnancy, fake news, and DNA. For some of y'all, this person could have ended up with a false empress. They thought this person was going to help them grow their business or help them create something or help them be abundant in some sort of way, and they realize it's, there's nothing there. It's not fertile, Okay. Mm. Moving on, letting go, loving you and free. For some of y'all, somebody could have tried to pin somebody, pin a baby on somebody or pin a pregnancy on somebody, and it, it wasn't theirs. It was a lie. It was uh, fake news about a pregnancy. This really wasn't a pregnancy, but something about finances. What about the side hustle? Let me pull over on that. What about the side hustle? Sex addiction. 
This is, I don't like this, because this is like off and on, hot and cold, detached and ghosted. This would be somebody to come in and sleep with you to get some sort of money off of you or to come up with some sort of creative idea or find a way to make some sort of money, okay? Like, they, they will hustle you. And they use, this is like a gigolo energy, you know, gigolo or uh, Jezebel energy. They slip around with you for money, for finances, for stability. That's what it looked like. Yeah, living in the moment. This is somebody non-committal. They just want to live in the moment. Yeah, bumping heads. This could be somebody you're bumping heads with. Secluded. Separation. Reflecting. Soul searching. Y'all could have gotten into an argument with this person about how they're living in the moment. How they're not taking things seriously. You know, how they keep distancing themselves from you. How they hot and cold. In and out. Off and on. Inconsistent. Ghosting you. Doing this. Doing that. You know what I'm saying? This is because this is somebody that don't want to take stuff seriously. Let's see. Clarify the distance card for Scorpio. Yeah, clarity, truth, intentions, and honesty. The further you get away from this person, the clearer you see them for who they truly are. Exhaustion, depletion, drain, long journey. You're starting to realize how this person's draining you. Um, how it, some of y'all have been around, been through these cycles for a long time. It's like it's been a long journey. You've been through it. You went through it. You kept going through it. You know, trying to you know, and you just finally depleted. You tired. You can't do it no more. And so now you're distancing yourself from this person. Ecstasy. Yeah, chasing thrills, excitement, good time. It was all fun and games while you was chasing the thrill. While, you know, it was fun in the moment, but now it's like, okay, I'm ready for something new. I don't want to keep going through this round and round thing. It's not going anywhere. It's not growing. It's not prospering. Try again. New direction. Start over. Somebody wants, it's like somebody likes the thrill of pulling you in, but that's it. That's it. They like the thrill of sleeping with you, but yeah, they just don't want to be rejected. That's all that is. Rejection. Abandoned, dismissed, irrational fear. It's like somebody pulls you in just to turn around and reject you again. Healing. Releasing, purifying, and cleansing. But see, it's different because now you're healing. You're healing from that. So this person can't draw you in the way that they used to. They can't uh, tempt you the way that they used to. You see what I'm saying? Resistance. Secret, admire, suppressing, and timid. Yeah. And in foundation, established family security. It's like, one day, someday, somewhere, another time. Give me one more. And hope and expecting faith and manifesting. This could be somebody that resisted you, okay? Or this could be like a secret admirer. They could be suppressing that they're trying to heal. This could be somebody that's healing from a family dynamic as well, or you're still healing from a family dy dynamic, but this is a thrill seeker, is what this is. So let's see, what initials and stuff do we have? Let's see, for Scorpio. Let's end it off, initials for Scorpio. All right. Let's see. Could have sworn a few more flipped over. I was going to take them if they flipped over. I think that's about it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have Sagittarius. Somebody could be a Sagittarius has, or have it in their chart. All right, W as in, I'm sorry, M as in Mary. We have the month of May. Leo could be a significant. Scorpio, Aquarius. H is in Hannah, Libra, Capricorn, G is in Gail, W is in Wendy, M is in Meredith, R is in Ruth, E is in Eric, Virgo, February, T is in Taylor, O is in Ohio, <laughs> L is in Lucy. W as in Wanda and O as in October. So I'm seeing grown woman, grown man. <laughs> That's a grown woman, grown man. Rhett. Somebody's name could be Rhett. Rhett. Merritt. Trey. Somebody's name could be Trey. T R E Trey. Mr. T. Mr. E. Something about toes could be of significant T O E. Somebody, somebody could like toes or toes. <laughs> Woot.
Somebody likes Groot. Groot. I'm Groot. <laughs> somebody likes the movie Groot or the little thing, the Groot thing. That could be of significance to somebody. Somebody wants more. M-O-R-E. Somebody wants more. More of you. More of it. More of whatever, honey. Somebody wants more. Array, array, MG, Werber, Whitby. Okay. Now I'm hearing lifetime, lifetime. There was a time when love wasn't chosen. I don't know. Okay, y'all. <laughs> so I could be listening to that song. Something, something went big for more. Whatever they say. Please you now for something better than I had before. What is this? Maxwell. Maxwell. Okay. So, anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Scorpio, this is what I have for you. I hope it brings you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.